Hello everybody, welcome to another daily dose of gaming news and all the good stuff and as always also publish in Rumble and later uh, it's time for XCOM 2 episode, yeah doing um, The Order of White Bastard, Evil Within and XCOM so later uh, after this video is published uh, like later in my my day uh, it should be published uh, yeah, if you, if you want the character there just uh, check the pinned comment when it launches uh, for the like simple instructions for uh, for your uh, for uh, introducing your character in the character pool uh, it's been quite fun um, uh, <laughs> that series are already starting very 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 difficult but yeah let's get started with the news uh, seems that uh, 7900 XTX is uh, like 12 20% below MSRP this is in Europe uh, not in all Europe but um, I think it's Norway or something like that um, but yeah uh, as rock is one of the most recent ones to to do this kind of thing with the the, the in terms of AIBs for for the, the 7000 series uh, it's already a, a great price this is for, for of course these prices have already like tax included in Europe all the all values are final with the tax included which is something that I still think doesn't happen uh, in the United States um, at least uh, the, their MSRPs, uh, uh, I think don't, they don't have like the the, um, the tax included. Uh, I think mainly because it varies between states. The, but I, I think that's the reason why. But yeah, 950 with the tax included this is an excellent deal. Um, uh, I can be a little bit biased. I have the the SF x1 the Merc 10 black edition it it was a very good uh, deal also uh, at least for my market it's more ex it was more a little bit more expensive than 950 but uh, for, for um, in comparison with my market it uh, which is middle eastern it's always a little bit more expensive but uh, it was a pretty good deal and the card performs very well uh, from the uh, for, for at least for the games that i've been playing at so far it handles pretty well um everything is uh, uh, at least at 4k uh, at least the, the ones that i've been recording um devil within two um and even xcom 2 they 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 do 140 uh, frames for second uh, per second and at 4k they, they are older games uh, but yeah the, the my monitor only it's the gigabyte m28u uh, can only deal 144 it's more than enough it uh, i'm pretty well satisfied with the performance of the gpu uh, i don't even have to crank it up in terms of overclocking it's uh, i think the bios is uh, the, the 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 oc bios but uh, i didn't touch anything else um so i'm pretty satisfied with that uh, in terms of performance and i think this is a very good performance especially on this market which is basically competing in terms of price with the 4070i which is um have been saying if you think about it uh, the 4070 ti it's 12 gigabytes so half the, the vram uh, kind of almost half the performance uh, the only thing that i think they compete each, with each other is like ray tracing performance but uh, even though 4070 ti is in terms of performance uh, of uh, ray tracing um i don't think it compensates because of the hit that ray tracing has at the moment uh, on the the hardware that is being launched uh, i don't know how many generations we're going to see like a, um, something that it uh, does not deal that the that hit in performance to compensate have like mid-range gpus to to uh, invest on those gpus for ray tracing uh, kind of thing there uh, but yeah I I even 4k uh, it can handle some games in 4k some of them 60 frames but you have to lower a little bit the the a little bit uh, i'm being fascistic you have to lower a little bit um, um, the details um, because it cannot handle uh, the mainly because of the vram um, 1440p i think it's the, the the better indication for this gpu the, the better use sorry for this gpu and even and even then uh, it will start uh, run out of steam um, if you ramp too much the, the detail levels and everything and if you for example if you introduce something for example starfield you introduce a lot of mods or like an xcom 2 if you introduce a lot of mods it might start running out of vram uh, but yeah um f comparing given that those two are found at similar price i think it's a it's a 
uh, you go for the for the AMD uh, GPU. Um, at least in this case, in specific uh, for this uh, specific situation. But yeah, again, uh, MSRP of of the XTX on the USA market is uh, I still think AIB is a little bit more expensive, like around ten five to ten percent more. But it's around supposedly one thousand uh, dollars. If you find there has been some deals here and there that it reached like nine hundred, I think nine hundred and fifty in ARBs. So I think it's a decent deal given the, all the conditions in the market and the competition. That uh, Nvidia still did, didn't lower the, the, the like basically the forty eighty, which is like two hundred dollars more than the reference card and uh, the the RTX the S. Oh my god, XTX, so many X's here. Uh, um, I get confused. But yeah, um, seems pretty good. If you see something, uh, again, um, even the XT, uh, at, uh, if it has like around 750, 700, give or take, it's a very excellent uh, G uh, GPU for that price, um, given that it can reach some uh, 4K gaming. Um, mainly because of the VRAM, uh, you can a little bit of the quality of detail and get like 4K60, which is, I think it's a, a pretty good experience, at least from my perception. Uh, maybe because it's because I'm like five years without gaming and, and having like laptop monitors and everything and not playing that thing. I, I think it's a little bit staggering, manage to play 4K60 FPS. I'm not maybe still get used to, to, to high frame rates and everything and I'm still a little bit charred because it's like one month and a half maybe with time I might get more picky with this but at the moment playing 4k 60 minimum it's uh, more than a good experience and for sure the 70 uh, the 7900 XT and XTX reach that those levels the 4080 of course also managed to uh, go on par with the XTX but the 4070 Ti um, it, it's okay-ish 4K but I think it's more manageable in 4040p high, high frame rates and high quality I think it's more about that uh, that that um, level uh, but yeah uh, stop rambling about hardware it's a lot of stuff coming up uh, um, yeah I will stop that um, got some uh, updates, especially from uh, Armored Core 6. Uh, a new update will be coming, like for uni uh, weapon units and uh, bug fixes. Uh, it seems uh, I didn't manage to, 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 to check too much. It got a little bit overshadowed with Starfield, with the hype of Starfield. Uh, it was launched very closely. Uh, but still, the game is pretty good. It's kind of a niche game because it's a mecha, ga uh, mecha game. It's a little bit niche. Not everybody... Uh, it, Kind of plays this kind of game and of course it's from software game so it's very fine-tuned for uh, being more difficult and very tactical and and very well balanced uh, but still they are working on it which is good to see uh, and regarding starfield that, that there seems to be like a problem with the uh, md uh, gpus uh, which is uh, basically uh, the thing is when you are on the moons and, and i think also in planets like here i think this is a planet uh, it seems that you are. It, it doesn't render the, the the star itself, even though the, the the illumination is there here on the shadows and everything. The the star itself <laughs> is not getting rendered uh, if you are in the moon or on a planet, and uh, it's kind of weird. Um, I, I, I don't know what's happening here because uh, the people were testing out this and they just load, uh, save the game, uh, exit the game um change their gpus for an nvidia uh, okay in or by intel and it just pop out uh like this is normal uh, with the nvidia gpu which is kind of weird i don't know what might be happening there but the the, the stranger thing is uh, the fact that the uh, amd partnered with starfield to uh, for the game to be optimized even though the, in terms of performance uh, amd gpus seems to be a little bit uh, at least of rasterizing deal a little bit better uh, with the um, with AMD GPUs in like overall performance with the same settings seems to have uh, at least in some areas seems to have uh, a good jump in performance and then of course depending on the settings and everything if you're going to pull like a, a 7600 uh, 7, uh, you're not going to test it in 4k uh, I think it, it has a little bit um, 
a little boost in performance but nothing like major uh, but mainly because the game itself is not well optimized for the PC platform. They basically, I think, fine tune it to get 30 FPS, uh, like with the maximum details possible for the Xbox. Basically, I think that's the, the optimization that they did. Um, because it's also, uh, uh, if you think about it, it's AMD hardware, also uh, Xbox and PlayStation. So, yeah. Um, it should be more well optimized for PC because again uh, I watch some videos and uh, I also check the Digital Foundry uh, kind of analysis on this game in terms and in terms of graphics seems that there is not a, like a lot of difference in terms of performance when you ramp up some uh, settings here and there like shadows and, and Google's illuminations everything that usually is one that it takes a little heavy hitter on the on the on the hardware and it doesn't seem to be like huge amounts of of course if everything is put together you, you will notice but there's things that usually uh, that are um, take a lot of um, hit on the performance of the of the hardware the difference between like high ultra and everything doesn't seem to to, to have the expected hit on performance which is kind of weird um especially on lower settings th doesn't seem to to gain like basically kind of any significant amount of performance which is kind of a weird thing here uh, and the fact that, for example, even like 4090, 4090s, uh, 4K with uh, upscaling, it's not getting good results for what suppose this game should be. Uh, but yeah, I, 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 again, it's the engine. It's old, and they, I think they are trying to put that to the maximum uh, overdrive here, the, the creation engine to to deal with this kind of an amount of data and everything and. Yeah, it, it hogs. It's a hog fest in certain cases. Sometimes you can get like 4K 60, which is still 4K 60 seems kind of good. But uh, yeah, uh, seems that AMD GPUs. I don't know if it is uh, supposedly can be like a driver issue. I don't. I'm not sure uh, because it's only it's only happening on the AMD, and you just switch um, with in the same PC. You just switch the GPU, and uh, things is uh, rather fine. So. I suppose it's something uh, driver, uh, some some kind of a driver issue, or some type of driver bug. I don't know what kind of rendering thing here is happening to, to for this to appear, but yeah, uh, it is what it is. Uh, regarding from some good news, we got uh, Raven's Watch. Uh, I've been talking about this here and there. Uh, it's uh, it's early access, but it got a major update. Uh, like the uh, it had like chapter two edition here. Uh, which has more characters, more enemies, uh, different talents. Uh, they, they put this on early access to try to start balancing out uh, the game, um, and and with that feedback, uh, uh, mainly because they are in the game, they basically I think they didn't manage to get like proper Q and A, so they take a, a chance on on putting on early access. It's getting pretty decent from my uh, seeing here, so I, I think it's a decent try. Uh, if you're interested in, in in going around the early access kind of a thing here, uh, but yeah, it seems uh, they are uh, going good uh, on the on this um, on this early access. And finally, we got Lies of Pi. Uh, yesterday, I, after three days, I managed to find that the video that I was looking for for the um, the handles and the, the 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 weapon stuff, the the blades and the handles. And he, and today we got like the Legion arm showcase pretty interesting got the, this one the Aegis one is more defensive here um it's kind of a shield but it can be used for attack uh, after upgraded from from the video showcase and we got the other legion arms uh, we got the puppet string the one that we saw is a lot of showcases we got like uh, ones that they deal um, fire damage others uh, electrical damage and there is another that seems to i don't know the equivalent of chaos damage uh it, it's very Lovecraftian in, in its appearance, the arm. Um, I don't know, maybe it's more aimed for humans. Uh, I'm not sure. But a bit very interesting things that you can do with the, after they are upgraded. And of course, the one that seems like a grenade launcher. Um, it, it's, uh, it's a pretty good showcase. So you can, you, I advise you to check out. Uh, the, the video seems uh, pretty decent. I, I'm very hopeful for this game. Hopefully it, it is a, a good... Uh, Soulsborn kind of a inspire, a, a inspired game here and I'm going to wrap up with some gaming news uh, gaming news sorry gaming deals 
Uh, we've got the, the Raven's Watch here. It's the, the early access game that I just mentioned. It's 20% uh, off at the moment. Uh, again, the, the announcement of the new chapter. It's uh, got some um, most mostly uh, surround, yeah, mixed, but 70% off, 70% uh, uh, positive reviews, give or take. Uh, the last 30 days, which is uh, it's okay. I think this is a very it's a roguelike with some co-op. Um, but yeah, it, it is what it is. Get the, the the thing is is the lore. They pick up in some fairy, uh, fairy tale stuff and, and fables, and they just put a little bit on their twist with the the rogue like kind of a f mechanics there. Um, very uh, the art style very um, how do you call it? 80s inspired. The, the, that game also this role like very inspired on that uh, kind of uh, art which seems pretty good and basically you've got their the roadmap here and that they basically are balanced everything out uh, hopefully it, uh, the final game is it's it's pretty good I, I like this kind of games um if the the the, the gameplay loop it's good it's always good to see um got also still atomic heart until the 18th you got the demo if you want to try it out and i think the premium edition is the better option at the moment mainly because the 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 i think that the dlcs they'll be launching are, are pretty chunky and, and pretty interesting on um, i never i still don't didn't manage to play this game I, I, I might as well try the demo to see if my pc handles this um we'll see how it goes uh also we got alien start descent it's 25 percent off a pretty positive one i think they they managed to patch out a lot of the stuffs here uh, they they being uh, on on top of the things here um th there was like some bugs uh, here and there nothing game breaking but uh, th they were a little bit uh, annoying to some people but yeah uh, they managed to patch out a lot of stuff the again uh, tactical combat like real time strategy with your squad and everything doing the missions uh, managing the squads and everything upgrades abilities all that good stuff here very xcomy uh, in the in the in the appearance and how you you play the game here. Uh, also, we got uh, Jedi uh, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, which is the yeah the continuation. A little bit mix here. Well, seventy percent. It's it's okay. Um, yeah, thirty percent off. Uh, you got the bundle for the two games. Twenty percent off, which is still a little bit eighty bucks. It's okay for the two games. Um, but yeah. Uh, I'm I'm eager to, I'm eager to to try out these games mainly because of the combat. I think the story is uh, okay. Uh, I don't see a lot of issues. Uh, people complaining too much about the the, the story here. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. But it's yes, yeah, thirty percent off. I think it's a pretty decent deal. Uh, even though the, the EA is uh, they, they they are now the base game prices is seventy bucks, which is uh, it's not good. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, with time see if they were a little bit more on the at least on the bundle side here and lastly we got uh, then like to stay human um yeah it, it i don't know mostly it's been i don't know what they did here now it's uh, mixed again hmm from 80 percent to 53 percent i don't know if they, they, it's the the events they have been doing that's not going that well uh i don't know um yeah, but they, yeah, did they, they announce some stuff here? I remember uh, now. I'm remembering covering it uh, because of the the currency thing. Yeah, I think that's why it's a little bit here. But uh, I think the base game is pretty good. Still, uh, I don't think you need to to, to to dive into ultimate stuff. But the first game is pretty good also. Um, the 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 following, I think it's a still pretty good game in terms of gaming loop. This one is also seems to, to, to be that way. Um, but yeah, uh, that thing with the premium currency, I don't think it's uh, mandatory to, to, for you to enjoy the game, but it's something that they, uh, yeah, they are trying to do. Uh, we'll see how it goes in the, yeah, you see the tokens there. Mm, we'll see. Uh, because Mainly because of the event stuff, they, they're trying to keep the people to grind out. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. At least uh, the, the base game seems pretty decent. That's why I still recommend it. Um, and yeah, I'll wrap up for today uh, with a plug with my uh, Patreon for uh, a little bit extra support to help out on the hobby itself and also to my main concern at the moment is uh, getting some uh, more storage for my PC mainly because of the, the work that I do for my private clients uh, I, I will need to start thinking about getting more storage uh, 
to keep the projects there just uh, as a backup stuff and also for some of the recordings that I've been doing for for the channel also I like to have like at least some copies of if something goes wrong at least I have some backups here um, yeah basically it's it's more about this uh, I don't need to worry about the rest of the of the, the PC in terms of uh, the next year two years or something like that I think I'm set up for that uh, but yeah it's basically for that uh, and of course extra support uh, to keep things running um, yeah basically this is it guys I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you tomorrow and with all that said let me master out.